Hey, so I have been using the Snap2 Vertex tool like a ton lately, and it's super useful. And I was working on this game model, and I needed to, well, I didn't, I didn't exactly need to, but I wanted to align these that I, that I cut here. And something you can do that's, uh, that's you know, it, doesn't, it didn't occur to me at first, but if you, if you have the Snap on, and then you move to, you hover over another vertex and you can hit X or Y, you know, and constrain it to, you know, a specific axis. So if I hit X, these two are now aligned. And now if I have them both selected, I can just align them to this one. And, you know, this, is, this would be super useful if you're, you know, re, kind of redoing some topology and you want to snap some things to align with a bunch of other stuff because it's really fast and uh, you don't have to like copy coordinates or anything. Uh, there might be a better way. I don't know, but, um, you know, I think that's, it's pretty, pretty interesting. But, um, another thing I did was I open, I have this model. And I just kind of, if I, if I actually open it, I have this model and I actually have a time lapse that I'm going to put out at some point, but, um, this is just an image texture, no roughness map or anything, and I'm, I'm going to swap out these eventually. This is uh, going to be a game asset, but how I did this was I didn't model these, you know, three walls that are the same, you know? I just modeled one of them. And what I did, if I'll, just, I'll just make a plane here. So, you know, I modeled out the windows, you know, and then I wanted this to align, or I wanted to make another one, another wall that's the same wall. So it's like I need it to, you know, kind of match up here. So all I all I need to do though, really, is turn on snap and just do that. Uh, just move it so it aligns with. With that, so now I've duplicated this and it's all aligned. If you turn on auto merge, uh, then when two vertexes come together, they merge into one. But I don't have that on, so I can just merge by distance and voila, three walls attached together. So yeah, I think think that's useful. So use use this tool. And then one more thing that occurred to me was you can take uh, something like like this this wall here. If I want this wall to be the same height as this staircase, I can actually just, it's already pretty, pretty close right now, but if it was, you know, if I had it up here, uh, I can, you know, snap it. So now it's, that's the same height level. So I'm not actually going to have this in the final model, but I, uh, yeah, that's another thing you can do.